Let's get started. Upon logging into Cerner PowerChart, your screen opens to Message Center. From the Message Center, click on Patient List to access lists based on location or provider group. Double-click on the desired patient to open the chart. We will start by clicking on Provider Workflow, located on the side menu just under Chart Summary. The Provider Workflow page contains five tabs located across the top. Admit, Progress, Consult, and Discharge tabs mirror the necessary actions taken by a provider. For example, if you are admitting a patient and completing an HMP, you would work off of the Admit tab on the Workflow page. You may find that you need to leave the Workflow page to review other areas of the chart. We strongly recommend you use the back arrow to the right of the menu bar to return to your documentation. The Workflow page menu is divided into sections that can be dragged and dropped to match your workflow. Menu components can be removed from view using the filter located in the upper right corner of the page. Once you've made changes to your menu, they are saved for subsequent logins. If you choose to return your workflow menu to the default settings, simply click Clear Preferences in the filter. There are also filters within certain sections of the workflow page. One controls data population based on 7 or 30 days. Another filter changes the layout of the data. Preference settings are available in the upper right of each section. These allow adjustments within the section. Now that we've given you an overview of the workflow page, let's take a look at a few of the individual sections within the page. In the Documents section, you will find completed notes on your patient from this encounter. Note type, date, and author are displayed. Click on the blue note type to open the note for review. Should you need to review a note from the previous encounter, as in last month's visit to the emergency room, you will need to leave the workflow page and click on clinical notes in the outside menu bar. Remember to return to the workflow page using the back arrow as explained earlier. Next, we will review the Diagnosis Past Medical History section. In this section, you will see past medical histories, problems, and diagnoses from previous encounters. Each can be converted to chronic, historical, inactive, or this visit. A chronic diagnosis is a disease state that exists across encounters. For example, diabetes would be a chronic diagnosis. Historical diagnosis refers to something occurring in the past, but not relevant to this encounter. Pneumonia in 2015 is a historical diagnosis. When a diagnosis displays as this visit, it means the diagnosis is current for this specific hospitalization. You can change the status of a diagnosis by hovering over this visit and choosing either chronic or historical. You can remove an active diagnosis by clicking on the diagnosis to highlight it in blue. Next, click on the section preference in the right-hand corner and select Remove from this visit. A new diagnosis can be added by using the search box. As you begin to type the first few letters of the diagnosis, a drop-down of selections will display. Click on the desired diagnosis to add. When adding multiple diagnoses, you can prioritize them in numerical order. Hover over the small number to the left of the diagnosis, and a drop-down arrow will appear, thus allowing you to organize your diagnoses numerically. Please note, it is a CMS requirement that an admission order must include the admitting diagnosis. Any diagnosis entered using the Admit Workflow tab will pull into the admission order when placing that order electronically. This will be covered in more detail in the Order Entry section of this training video. The next three sections within the Workflow page to be covered in this video are 
history of present illness, review of systems, and physical exam. We present these together because they have similar functionality. By placing your cursor in the blank field, you can type or dictate your documentation related to that section. Click the Save button at the bottom of the section and that documentation will carry forward into your note. Keep in mind that the intended purpose of the workflow page is to allow review of patient data while adding pertinent documentation to a section. Ultimately, this will result in the creation of your note. It is recommended prior to using this functionality, you review the templates you plan to use for documentation. Based on the input from department heads, many templates already contain a negative review of systems and or physical exam. In this case, you may choose to work directly in the template when creating your note. The next section we will review is the order profile section. In this section, you will see all active and in progress orders. Review of active orders prior to new order entry can help prevent order duplication. You cannot add orders within this section, but you can review and, if necessary, cancel or discontinue an order. To delete an order, simply highlight the order in blue by clicking on it once and clicking Cancel, Discontinue at the bottom of the section. Let's move on to the New Order Entry section. Since the CPOE module covers this section in great detail, we will only discuss briefly. To place an order from the workflow page, simply place your cursor in the search box and start typing your order. In this case, we are going to place an admit order to demonstrate how to attach the admitting diagnosis to the admit order. When you start typing admit, Many admit orders will populate the search box, allowing you to select the most appropriate order. For this demonstration, we will choose the admit patient order. After selecting your order, you will notice that the order disappears. Remember from the CPOE module, the order is in the green orders for signature box at the top of the workflow page. Open the orders for signature box and select modify. Choose the appropriate location for your patient. Highlight the order to open the order details section at the bottom. Click on the diagnosis tab in the order details screen. You should see active diagnoses listed. By checking the box to the left of the diagnosis, your admission diagnosis will be attached to your admission order once signed. The Medication and Med Reconciliation section displays all current hospital medications. Hovering over a medication provides you with a full history of that medication order. Information regarding administration of the medication, such as date and time of last dose, is also displayed. A link to the Admission Med Reconciliation is found at the top of the section. There is a function within the workflow page designed to help you in the creation of your note. Tagging is a way of copying pertinent data from the patient's record and pasting that data into your documentation. You can use tagging on lab results, diagnostic reports, and portions of text found in provider notes. Please note that although lab results are also displayed in the results review section of the chart, only labs displayed in the workflow page can be tagged. Let's look at how tagging is performed. As you review your patient's chart, you see that there is an abnormal lab result you would like to address in your note. Right-click over that value and click Tag. Next, you find something in the diagnostic result that you wish to include in your note. Highlight the desired text within the report and click Tag. The clipboard containing tagged items can be reviewed by clicking on the tag icon at the top of the workflow page. Click again to close this view. 
The clipboard containing all tagged items will appear to the left of your template when you create your note. At the bottom of the workflow page menu, you will see in blue, Create Note. This links you directly to the Provider Documentation New Note screen. Instruction on adding a note from this screen will follow in our next module. This concludes the module on the workflow page.